What's up, everybody? I'm Evil Rabbit. We're here on Drift 21 here on the PC. So, if you guys remember last episode, we were working with the 15, building it, and trying to drift it. And I think we had too much power. We do have a BRZ over here, which uh, does not have a motor. And we are going to be doing a build on the BRZ here soon. Make sure you follow me on Instagram and Twitter, all the problems in the description box below. We got two cars here two cars two engines here that we're gonna choose but today we're gonna to work on this 15 to try to get it to grip a little better and try to get the game to feel a lot nicer on the wheel so make sure you follow me on all social media let's get to it So we do have the fully built turboed six cylinder in the car, but I have taken the fuel rail off. So we were running about a thousand horsepower, about 800 with different. So we're going to try different fuel rails in this car to try and actually lower the power a little bit and see if maybe we went too far too fast. So I believe we were originally running the tuning. The sport one's about a thousand. This one's, I think, about 200 and something and see what kind of power we're getting with a performance rail here on this S15. No, I don't want to drive it yet. We're going to do parameters. So 286 was with the basic fuel rail. 520 is with that one. And then we have about 800 with the other one and about 1,000 horsepower with the other fuel rail. So what we're also going to do is we're going to put some grippier tires in the back as well as we have super softs in the front. So we gotta go over here and we gotta get some rims and tires put on this machine here so we can get some more grip in the rear. We're gonna run, uh, I think we're gonna run some 18s in the rear. I haven't ran, a, ooh, I haven't ran 18s, I've been running 17s on all of them. So let's just go with some 18s. Yep, drop it on the ground of course, that's that's how all my episodes go. We're gonna buy another one of those just in for right now, we're gonna spin that around. I like the way that looks. Drop that on the ground. So now we gotta get some tires mounted on this thing. So let's go to tires, and we gotta get some super soft 18s. And we gotta try to get as wide as possible, actually. 265, 35, 18s. Compound mediums, compound soft, compound super soft. So I'm wondering if super soft is not what we actually wanna do. So we're gonna go with, hmm, we're gonna go with some softs. 265, 35, 18s, plop that on there, mount that up real quick. So if you guys are playing this and you guys found a way to get some uh, good grip in the cars, let me know down in the comments down below because I'm trying to find a way to get some grip to make the wheel feel that much better we're gonna put some 265 these are gonna poke way out of this car I think we have 245s in the front all right so that one's done that looks like an aggressive tire too so we're gonna be rocking different tires and different wheels on this 15 you yeah, know give me that go to the balance go to the balancer balance that up so we're gonna have to switch this over to the lift I don't I want to switch the whole car over Move the car to the lift, and we're gonna put this up there, and we're gonna put these massive 265s in the rear, and see if it'll help. That's a little bit too high. So we're gonna take our rear ones off. Well, let's stick them over here. Let's stick them on top of each other right now. All right, let's go grab our other wheels. I wonder how big these are actually gonna poke out. Actually, they don't poke out, okay kind of got a stretch going on it looks like these are supposed to be 265s did I buy wrong tires no no I want to check tires no those are 265 35s all right so we're gonna go test this out see where we're at on this go drive and we're just gonna go to we're gonna go to the school just because we can try and you know drive it there so this is gonna be a test on a little bit lower of horsepower 
Right, so I think they may have actually adjusted throttle and stuff, because now I have kind of a linear throttle. My brakes work kind of right away. So we're down to 500 horsepower. Oh. It doesn't help when you're in the grass, though. Okay, I think we're going to reset force feedback to... Oh, not reset. Reset our force feedback back to how it was originally. Reset force feedback settings. Okay, that is exactly how I wanted. We're going to increase force feedback a little bit. And then we'll try there. So, I honestly think we may have went too fast in the power initially. That feels a little bit better and actually we have a little bit more grip. Now I think we need to maybe adjust the rear like suspension and everything to get it to handle really good. Because we're all we're still kind of still uh, gripping up a lot in the front. So let's change tracks a little bit. I say grip up, but we're actually losing grip in the front. So let's go to a more open track and see if we can't try drift land with 500 horsepower. So it is cool that it feels like they've updated the wheel support and throttle control. And we can actually somewhat hold a drift now. We're just kind of understeering in the front, so I think I need to do some more tweaks to the rear of the car. Maybe putting the rear control arms and stuff like that on the car. But this does feel pretty good, actually, now. It's starting to feel a little bit more responsive in a sense, I need to go back and adjust my drift mode in my wheel to turn it down a little bit. Get a little bit less wheel wobble, there we go. I think maybe the combination of actually having throttle control now and less power is kind of where we're at. So I think I'm gonna do a full build on that BRZ, a little bit lower power though. And do about 500 horsepower, but do really grippy setup, full suspension, maybe full wide body, everything like that, and see where we're at because the game's starting to feel a little bit better now. Now, like it is early access, so you know they are working more and more on it, but it's starting to feel better. I'm starting to actually get a feel for how the physics are. And we're kind of able to throw some lines until you get in the grass and it's really super slippery. We're actually able to throw some lines. So let's jump to my favorite track. And I say jump as pun intended. I can't wait for them to add some more tracks. So let's go to Maname and uh, try and get a jump drift in before we end the episode off. So, okay, we're going right into it. We're just going to go right into it. Clutch kick, jump! No! Oh, it was in the wall. We somehow saved it, though. It doesn't like curbs! Oh, God! So, it's weird how it just gets a little bit of understeer. When you're trying to transition. But I don't know if that's just a characteristic of the car or the game, or if I'm just losing traction in the front. So I need to start with a fresh car and go little by little. Left foot braking helps. Little by little with a little bit of power and do all suspension work and everything and see what each thing does on the car and how it reacts when you add like rear suspension, front suspension, and things of that nature and figure this out because it is starting to feel better feels a lot better than the first time I drove it and now that my throttle and everything is a little more precise and I actually have control of my throttle except when you hit walls I have control of my throttle in the aspect of 
it's linear now. It's not just like when I go half, I don't have any power until half throttle and then it's like 100%. Like it's much more linear, which is kind of making it easier. My brakes are actually working now, which is also helping. So the game is starting to feel way better. Drift 21, definitely a fun game and it's going to be a very amazing game if they dial the physics and, or I can figure out how to get the cars to handle how I want, but that's pretty good drift. Nope. Get the cars to handle. Maybe it's something that has to do with tires. Maybe it has something to do with gripping and stuff like that. So, more Drift 21 episodes for you guys coming as well as a set of Corsa with the drift comp cars and everything coming out as well. So, make sure you guys follow me on Instagram and Twitter. It's kind of a jump drift. All of them are found in the description box below. It's just weird how the wheel gets so super light under quick turning, and I think maybe it's just understeering. So maybe I need to work with some stuff. If they bring in tuning in the game, it'll definitely help a lot. So, big thank you for all you guys coming back and watching and showing your support. I appreciate it. And as always, like thank you guys for watching. I'm Evil Rabbit. I'll see you guys on the track.